Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Silver Randomizer. In the last episode, we made it through Victory Road and into the Indigo Plateau. Now the team, I said I was going to get everybody up to level 50, I got them up to 45 instead, because I looked basically everything I'm going up against, and I don't have to worry about anything really too terribly dangerous until the champion. So without further ado, save real quick, as you can see the time went up about 22 hours. Because the speed button's fun when you train. Here we go. First up, the psychic Pokemon user, Will. Now originally back in the beginning it was Lorelei. But it's not Lorelei anymore, it is Will, who has two Zatus, a Slowbro, an Executor, and a Jinx. And it's, one of his Zatus is a little bit more dangerous than the other. Also, Andoom here learned Flamethrower during the training. So, we do have Andoom back, and he's stronger than ever. And he one hits a Zatu. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Now, I have no reason to use anything else except for uh, Houndoom for this. <laughs> and Executor, bring him out! He's not the Alolan Executor, which is still the derpiest looking damn thing I've ever seen. And he's down! Ooh. I get, I'm a little anxious about those because, like, the closer to the level, like, the first, uh, it's, 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 it's tricky. Hello, Zatu, you're the stronger Zatu. Are you down? Are you done? And he's done! One hit KO. I have one hit KO every single Pokemon he has. He just has the Slowbro left. Can I one hit KO the Slowbro? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh! <laughs> it was so close. He was so close. That's fine. That's okay. Sucks, but it's okay. But that makes the first of the Elite Four down. Okay, next up. And we're gonna kinda go back and forth between two Pokemon on this. Next up. The poison type user, Koga, who was originally the gym leader of uh, Future City. I don't know why it just like blanked in my mind. Ariados. Now we could have started the game with an Ariados and would have had a kick-ass psychic, er, psychic, poison type. But, it's, uh, it's gonna die. Now you guys, depending what he sends out next, you guys will actually see the changes I've made to the team. Which we had to say un an unfortunate goodbye to a long-standing member. Come 
on. Boom! Fortress is down. What are you sending out next? The muck. Okay, I'm gonna to switch for this. Pseudo Widow is no longer part of the team. Because I have Pupitar who can basically do the exact same thing almost. And also is just a little bit better. And not to mention bringing Hitmonlee back in gives me fighting type. Come on, Muck. Go away. And he's done! So say the most the most dangerous thing we have to worry about. Keep him out because Rock Slide is going to just crush him. Or I'm gonna get confused in the meantime. Pupitar, you better be smart and actually hit him. Damn it. Well, oh, I spoke too soon. Immediately out of the confusion, just nope, I'm good, let's go. And the last Pokemon he has is Crobat, the evolved form of a Golbat. Now, Crobat is blindingly fast. Like, I'm talking, it is insane. But, I think we've got the power to kill it. One? Nope. Not a one hit. A little bit of poison is not going to kill us. He wastes his turn with a full restore. That's okay, because that gives us a chance to basically knock him right back down and possibly get a crit. Oh! <laughs> yes! And it's done! Koga is down! Everything I can muster, but my efforts failed. I must hone my skills. Go on to the next room and put your abilities to the test. And the next one is a little trickier. But... Not Venusaur. I need Dragonite. Didn't, I want to switch Dragonite with hit one loop or Hound Doom. Thank you. And while I'm at it, I also reorganized the uh, my item bag just a little bit. I did give Articuno the Never Melt Ice. Next up, long-standing member of the Elite Four, Bruno, the Fighting type champion. Hoo-ha! Let's do it! Already on to the third of the four, then the champion. Bruno has a Hitmon Top, a Hitmon Lee, a Hitmon Chan, an Onyx, and a Machamp. Now that Machamp is going to be our deadly opponent. But because I don't have a Psychic type Pokemon, I have to rely on Dragonite's ability to fly. Aw, oh, you little bastard. Or I could use... Articuno's Gust, because Articuno still do does still have Gust. But you detect. Damn it! Stop detecting! Can I do it again? Oh, I'm getting really tired of that shit. I'm getting tired of that. <laughs> it's amazing how fast Articuno basically went from, ah, it's weak, to, oh, it's, it's strong now. Articuno was the harder one to train because everything that I was fighting in Victory Road while I was grinding was insanely, insanely stupid. Is that all you're going to do is just quick attack me and detect? Nothing else? Oh, okay.
Might as well just keep Articuno out right now because. What are you sitting out now? Oh, hey, look! It's the one we tried to catch back in Elix Forest. It's okay. We got my favorite one instead. What's he sending out next? So that way I can at least prepare a little bit. Sending out Hitmonlee. Sending out Onyx. Okay, so I need to switch back over to Dragonite. This Dragonite has Surf. That was easy. What are you sending out now? Are you sending out- Oh, you're sending out your best! Sends out the Machamp! Misses the Rock Slide, which is good. One hit K! Oh! Which means he just leaves Hitmonlee, which I could finish him off with Dragonite by hitting him with Fly. As long as it doesn't detect. I'm gonna try to use Swagger. And it's done. That makes three of the Elite Four down. Unless I have no right to say anything, go face your next challenge. I mean, everybody else said something. You could have said something there, buddy. It's okay, though. I get it. Now, for this next part, I'm going to need our good old friend, Hitmonlee. Because he's going to be basically the crucial... Hitmonlee and Houndoom are going to be the crucial fighters in this fight. Maybe also Pupitar, just looking at the mix-up between these, between the next person. So, this is Karen of the Elite Four, a Dark-type trainer. Which is why I put Hitmonlee in first, because fighting is going to kick her ass. She cannot handle it. Rolling kick! Down! Ooh, and it was even critical. Switch out over to Houndoom, because I'm going to need Houndoom to deal with this vile plume. Now, I could use Articuno, or I could use Dragonite, but I want Houndoom out for this. Because Hanu has flamethrower! <laughs> oh, what what Karen has is obviously, you know, Umbreon and Vileplume. She also has a Murkrow, Houndoom, and a Gengar. Now, her Houndoom is her deadliest weapon. Pokemon, whatever. Murkrow... Give me Pupitar, because it's a dark flying. That means I can still crush it with rocks. Her Houndoom is her biggest, is the biggest hurdle we have with, at least her. Now that that's done, next up is Gengar. We're going to switch back over to Houndoom. Because Houndoom has Faint Attack, and Faint Attack is a stronger move than just trying to bite it. As we clearly saw, even facing off against Will. And 
and it is... Oh, almost down. Never mind, he's down. He just took his own life. On life? Not sure, honestly. Now, I'm switching over to Hitmonlee for this. Because that's the pain in the ass. But if I'm lucky enough, I can one hit it. That's if I'm lucky. And I was lucky enough to one hit her strongest Pokemon. <sighs> Trying Pokemon, weak Pokemon. That is the only selfish perception of people. Truly skilled trainers should try to win the match with their favorites. I like your style, you understand what's important. Go on, the champion is waiting. This is it, guys. This is everything we've built up to. Our team, everything, has built up to this final moment. And it's, this is gonna be, this is it. This isn't the end of the Let's Play. No way. This is the end of basically the first segment of the Let's Play. So the question I want to know is who is the champion going to send out first? Considering that they're the only one that has a trip to... That's a good question. I don't know who he's going to send out first. So I'm going to go ahead and slap Dragonite into the driver's seat and see what happens. I'm not even gonna say I wasn't even moving with that. This is it. The fight against Lance. God, I get chills every time I hear that theme. Should have sent out Venusaur. It's okay. I could still deal with this. Wasn't meaning like that. I thought that was a different move. Okay, if I'm... No, we're... Venusaur isn't going to do anything to this. Because it is a... It didn't affect him. Ow! So it's like, Sleep Water should affect him. And he's got to recharge too, so that gives me time to basically kick his ass a little bit. And the only problem is, is I wish I had an electric type on me. Because that would actually help take down this Gyarados. But this Gyarados is basically a first hurdle. Because what he has next is what really worries me. Well, at least three things that he has really worries me. But Gyarados is down. Sending out first. A Dragonite. Okay, so we're gonna switch back over to. We're gonna switch over to Articuno. That's the level 40. He's got two. He's got three Dragonites. Aerodactyl, Charizard, Gyarados. But one of his Dragonites is the strongest one, and that's the one that scares me. That's the one of reason why I want to try to get everybody up to level 50. Come on. Come on. One hit! One hit! Okay, okay. Send out Charizard. Give me Dragonite. Because I'm gonna need him. And if that doesn't. If Dragonite isn't going to do as much as I think he would. Oh god! Ouch. That. that hurt. 
surf should finish him off. If not, that's fine. I can only switch over to Peeper Tar and just hit him with Rock Slide. But he's already down this far. Might as well finish him out. That's three down. Where to go, Dragonite? You leveled up. Good job, buddy. What's he sending out next? Okay, it's not even worth trying to switch out now. Which means he only just has this and the two Dragonites left. Oh, that's dangerous. That is really dangerous. Okay. We're okay. We're still sitting okay. <laughs> Come on. Flying in rock. Yep, that's what I was worried about. Dragonite's going down. Okay. He's got to recharge so he can't technically swap him out. That's just enough to take him down. Send out Dragonite. Switch back over to Articuno. I'm going to get Dragonite back up on his feet. This is the dangerous one, too. This is... Oh, man. This is the bad Dragonite. This is not the good one. This is the one that could probably kill me if it tried hard enough. And it just might. Outrage is actually one of my favorite dragon moves, too. Is that going to be enough to one-shot it? I don't think so. <laughs> oh my god! No way! No! There's no way that just one-shot him! It's done! Holy shit. It's done! We've done it! That's $5,000 in our pocket. You become truly powerful, Eric. Your Pokemon have responded to your strong and upstanding nature. As a trainer, you will continue to grow strong with your Pokemon. Hello, Professor Oak. Ah, it's been a while. You certainly look more mature. Your conquest of the league is just fantastic. Your dedication and trust and love Pokemon made this happen. Your Pokemon are outstanding, too. Because they believed in you as a trainer, they persevered. Congratulations. Let's interview the brand new champion. This is going... This is getting a bit noisy. Just, just leave it be. So, so I came here, this is where we honor the League Champions for all eternity. Their courageous Pokemon are also inducted. Here today we witness the rise of a new League Champion, a trainer who feels compassion for and trusts in his Pokemon. A trainer who succeeded through perseverance and determination. The new league champion who has all the makings of greatness. Eric, allow me to register you and your partners as champions. So, saving the game. Dragonite, level 46. Houndoom, level 46. <laughs> Articuno, level 46. Pupitar, level 45. Venusaur, level 45. 
Hitmonlee, level 45. Me! 180 Pokemon seen, 19 owned. Professor Oak's rating? Yeah. And that's it. I wish there was a way to skip this. Unfortunately, I don't think there is. But we aren't done. Oh no. There's still more to do. The game hasn't ended yet. So, I know I haven't used them like the, I haven't used it the entire game and I've accidentally used it in sparse moments on accident. I'm going to just, I'm going to blaze through these credits real fast. And then we're going to basically start off on, then I'm going to end the episode and then we're going to start off the next episode on technically the post game of Pokemon Silver Randomizer. Sorry, there's this weird feeling there for a second. So give me just a moment. And that's that. Wow, that was actually a lot shorter than I thought it was. It's a lot shorter than I remember it being. So we start off back home. What a way to go, you know? But like I said, we aren't done yet. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Silver Randomizer. I will see you guys in the next episode. So until then, this is Eric signing off. And I will see you guys later.